Hey guys, welcome back to another Big Meat Sunday. Thanks for coming back. Today, we're doing a ribeye, and it seems like we do a lot of ribeyes around here, but I tell you what, we love those steaks. Also, this is for Linda and Angie, and my buddy Chris up in Canada. You all know who you are, and I know you love your coffee as well. We're gonna do a espresso ground coffee dusted ribeye today that's gonna be kicked up with just a little bit of chipotle chili powder, we're gonna roast it out on the big green egg, slow, and then reverse sear at the end. You guys are gonna love this. Stick around. Okay guys, so we have some steaks together here. These are freaking amazing. I already saw them because I purchased them from the Meat House, of course. Best place around here. I can find the, anything I want. Guys are awesome. They hooked me up with a couple of awesome looking bone-in ribeyes. You gotta check these out. I mean, isn't that beautiful? Ha! Aren't those gorgeous? I'm gonna get these trimmed up a bit, and then we're gonna get them seasoned. Okay guys, so we have some ingredients together. We Frenched out our steaks. You can see that. Uh, looking very nice. We have some chipotle chili pepper that we also got at the meat house. And we have some uh, medium fine ground coffee. Now, I'll tell you what, this is gonna be really complicated. We're gonna take our chipotle chili pepper and sprinkle it fairly liberally on our steaks. And then we're gonna go left handed because I have a band aid on and it's kind of hard to uh, pinch stuff. So, we're going to go, uh, you know, nice heaping wads of this coffee, which I do believe is Guatemalan roast. I'm going to pat this in really nice. I'm going to need some more over here. Let's get the other side. Okay, you guys, we got the other side. We're just gonna let this sit now for uh, no, probably half an hour, let it come up to room temperature. I just got these guys out of the refrigerator. You want your beef to come up to room temperature before you throw it on the grill because it'll be more evenly cooked. So tell you what, I'm gonna get my big green egg out there, heat it up. We'll see you out there in a bit. Okay guys, we're out here at the big green egg. Got these gorgeous steaks. These are amazing looking. I'm gonna set them on the grill. We have the plate setter on, so we're going indirect cooking here. And then also uh, using the Meat House uh, smoked salt. Just gonna uh, throw a couple of crystals on each steak. Tell you what, you guys, I'm gonna come back out here in about 15 minutes, flip these guys over. We're looking for an internal temperature of about three, no, 125 degrees. Stick around. Okay guys, we're back. It's been about 15 minutes now. We're gonna flip these gorgeous looking steaks over. Oh yeah. And they're nowhere near done yet. We're gonna take our smoked salt. Just kind of season them up some more. And we also have some uh, nice sweet potato that we're gonna be grilling out here. There's kind of like around the outside on this big green egg that'll uh, cook a lot quicker than the steak is. So uh, closing it up, see you in 15 minutes. Okay guys, so we're back and our steaks have just hit about 120 and change actually. I'm a little late to this party unfortunately, but I think we're gonna be all right. We're gonna take these guys off. We're gonna set them on a plate right now. Okay, and then also we have these uh, sweet potatoes that I have kind of baked up, if you will. All right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to set up our big green egg. We're going to take the uh, plate setter off of it, and then we're going to set the grill way down low. We're going to sear these bad boys off. We'll see you in the kitchen. All right, you guys, cheers. This is for Linda, Angie, and my brother Chris up in Gainada. Eh. Cheers, you guys. Mm. 
Look at these steaks. Look at these steaks. Oh my goodness, they're amazing. Okay, let's cut into one. I, for one thing, am starving, and I know my wife is. Let's just take this one as a four instance. I'm gonna turn it this way. Okay, let's go right into the deep of it. Oh, ha, 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 ha. oh. look at this. Oh yeah, it's just perfectly tender, medium rare, you know, and I'm a rare kind of guy, no pun intended. And uh, I like my ribeye steak a little closer to medium than I do rare. Oh. You guys. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. This is so great. The, the, the coffee soaks into the meat and it's not like a bitter flavor. It's just like this, this depth of awesome. I, I don't even know how to explain it. You guys are gonna have to try it for yourself. Tell you what, Kathy down at the Meat House, thank you very much. Look at this steak, you guys. How can you not love this? All right, you know the drill. Hit that sub button, give me a thumbs up if you like it, and stick around.